again to Way Beyond Pad Thai channel and we're right now in Pisak. It's known for their Sunday market. For what I understand, all the artisan market right here is here all the time. Propina, <laughs> Danny. The local one, all the local produces, the fruit, the vegetable, and the street food right there only on Sunday. And people just usually buy it and stock it for the week. It's quite affordable because all the locals just sell it themselves without the middleman. There are a few local street food. I think there's like five, six of them. So much food, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. It looks pretty good. And then, I think this is the shop that has like the most local at the most, so that's why we're here. And this small little one, not small, actually it's pretty huge for like 12 cellies. So I'm going to dive in right now. Two types of potato. That's like the normal one we usually get. This one is yuca. It's like a really big piece of chicken. Mama no chicken. De Mama de chicken. Oh! Gallina. Ah, this one gallina. Not chicken, it's gallina. It's no pollo, see? Sí? No pollo, it's gallina. It's a mamacita of the chicken. Oh, it's, oh, that's why it's like a little bit like. See? Sí? Ah. It's not chicken. So when you eat chicken, you know that it's a little bit. Like, you know, when you bite it, you bite it and it just torn apart. But this one, it's more like firmer. Mm. You can actually hear when you bite it. It's like, it's not just gone, gone, but it's more like. This is so good. The soup itself doesn't taste like so strong or so intensive, but it's a nice, like. Nice touch to it. Simple. <laughs> now let's test this how spicy it could get oh it, it smells so herby mm, nice so herby it's good <laughs> my breakfast that was pretty big I didn't finish all the potatoes but the gallina I'm like and then left the bone for that little dog he was just baking all the time when I was sitting there now let's go for some juice it's a thing you should have some juice at the market local market See how much I have. So much. Carrot, peas, pineapple, ginger. Six cellars. No water. This is all the like all the fruits they offer, which is Quite a lot. I, I started to like Pisak so much already, and I've been here just one day. It's so funny that's already two people today asked me like, Corona Pisak. 
<laughs> like they were scared that I have coronavirus because I lose. Yeah, I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I don't blame them, but it was funny. Hi, I'm Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we met randomly when I was drinking juice there at the market yeah. and then we met again outside the market and he was like <laughs> I just basically say hi oh. <laughs> and because I remember her and I know she's not from here maybe she needs to know a couple of things that happen, happens in this town because it's Sunday and the sacred sushi is pretty nice uh, the entire community is there because people love the spring rolls and they love the desserts uh, and also the curry from there is really nice maybe it's like not the original one but it's really nice Super, super yummy. The chocolate mousse, and I'm super in love with that one. And the people love also the cheesecake. See you! Very well. Oh, this is so cool. I wish I had more time in Pisa. Oh, yeah, it's really yeah. nice. I told yeah. you, the energy is super nice. Yeah. Sacred sushi Sunday. It's like, it, it's lovely, but at the same time, you still have that hint of the hippiness because it's hippie town. I'm actually pretty full because we just had food at the market. I think I'm just going to wait a little bit and maybe come back later for this sushi thing because it's just once a week. And this is probably the last Sunday that I'm going to be here. So. As four, so I'm heading back to town again just for that sacred sushi. Also, we're gonna go grab some fruits from the local market, also because it's just once a week. Hola. Uh, two mango and then amiga amiga, que es granadilla. So, so I got two mango and then one granadilla for eight cellars and then I think we good uh, yeah I think we good unless I want avocado which is a really big one you're gonna be shocked because I'm shocked right now isn't that like too big like this is my hand We are already at this sacred sushi and curry Sunday, and literally this service is only Sunday. I'm luckily here for one Sunday, so I have a chance to try it. Not much of the variety, but um, it's all vegan. Look at the menu. <laughs> hippie town. So hippie. The biggest miso soup bowl in my life. Oh, it smells nice. Seaweed. Tofu, but a little bit of like carrots right there and onions. You just can't really go wrong with miso soup. Oh, I miss this so much. I've never thought of putting like carrots into them, the miso before, but now that I have it, I think it's interesting. Give it a texture, you know. We just got the sushi, the kimchi sushi, not gonna lie, but looks so good. Hand roll sushi with the Korean kimchi in there, like quite random. And then it comes with avocado, cucumber, and wasabi. And then at the same time, they have the choice of like, um, for you to add on the cheese. It's a vegan place. Now you think, how can it? Be cheese. The cheese they add on is actually the cashew cheese. I've never tried so I add that on and I want to try that so badly. Like, how it's gonna taste like vegan. <laughs> but it looked like really good. Smells quite Asian. Smells quite Asian. Right? Oh the sesame. I think it's the sesame smell. Really big. Probably like one of the biggest roll. I've had mm, so huge and so much sesame also. You also actually got choices like white rice, brown rice. I went with the brown rice one. You know, since we're gonna go healthy anyways, let's try another one, a different one. Smell pretty Asian again. <laughs> oh, Look at that. Kimchi in there.
I left the room just for some dessert. The chocolate mousse. For the mousse itself, they use cacao powder, coconut milk, avocado, and panela. And don't eat chocolate. The cream on top of it, they use coconut cream plus agave. Looks quite nice, and I think on top is supposed to be either cacao powder or canela or like cinnamon. I'm gonna grab a little bit of cream up top and also a little bit of the mousse down there. It's so rich. I don't think I can taste the avocado, but the chocolate is pretty like intensive. Mm. All right, we're done. I got like <laughs> something to go also, maybe like late night snack. I had just four, like half of the sushi. I'm not so used to the vegan kind of sushi. All the music and stuff is nice and the dessert was good. The sushi is so not so sure, but people who actually eat vegans, they have choices for the sushi, which is nice. morning you guys almost 8 in the morning and coca tea the normal brand they use around here Valle something I normally drink here in Peru and maybe that's actually like the thing that helped me with altitude and stuff I never get sick at all and the fruit from the Sunday market yesterday Chirimoya? I think so this is Chirimoya we eat it in a bit after the bread. It's quite hot. Mm. The bread's so good. I got it from one of the hippie looking shop in town. As I've actually been mentioned a few times that Pisak is quite hippie kind of town. So hippie. This is the rooftop of the hostel I'm staying at. The hostel called El Pache Retro something. I'm not so sure it's long but it's quite nice. I really recommend this like i love it a lot here we got some like space on the rooftop there and the shade and also you can see the whole view of the mountain and the river urubamba river yesterday sunday in pisat was a fun day so we went shopping we ate some local food have some sushi and sunday probably like um a really nice day if you want to come to visit Pisa for a day. People usually just come from Cusco to Pisa just for one day, like a day trip or something. I'm gonna be here for probably the whole full week because I'm starting to like it a lot. Good morning. And don't eat chocolate. Why? <laughs> Chocolate is yummy. Mm -mm. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.